So first thing is, I'm going to pop open the web page. That's going to load, pull in all the names of the devices from GitHub. And once that's completed, give me a nice little summary of what it will be doing. And here's a drop down, and here are the devices I'm going to pick. So I'm just going to pick um, Switch 16. Is it a firewall? No, it's not. And then I'm going to submit it. So now, as it's going through that process, I'll walk through here again. So went through this story. It got the config URL. It clicked this trigger because it's not a firewall. So now from here, it's analyzing and going through that process. It's using this get file um, from GitHub tool. And I'll pop this open so you guys can see that. All it's doing is just getting that URL from GitHub and the agent pulled it in. And now the agent is um, talking to that config file and will give us the results here in a minute. Now, as we're waiting for this to analyze, everything, as you know, with LLMs take a while, especially when you're processing a large um, router config text file and you're looking through for a lot of data. That's why, you know, this process takes a while. Now, I'm showing you going from a page to a page, but this can also go from a, um, a timed event or a webhook event to this playbook to output it to a case. So all the information that's returning to the page can actually get sent to Tynes Case Management or any other case management tool that you're using out there.